All right, so this is a scavenger hunt game that you can incorporate into your web-based training. Uh, there's some basic instructions. You're telling them, uh, giving a storyline, and then asking the learner to find violations. In this particular uh, interaction, you can change your storyline. Um, this is just to give you a basic idea. I'm going to click Next. And here, uh, the learner is asked to um, find a violation and click Submit. So uh, I think the key point of the interaction is the feedback that they receive, whether they're correct or incorrect. So I'm going to click outside uh, somewhere that's incorrect so you can see the incorrect feedback that they're going to get when they uh, submit the incorrect information. So it's going to say, okay, incorrect. Um, and this is a learning opportunity. So um, you want to make sure you take advantage of it. So the feedback says, okay, so you missed the lock unlocked computer. Uh, someone could access information this way. So um, the learner immediately learns what the correct answer is and why. I click next question here. And here I'm going to click on the correct answer and click submit. And so this is the feedback that they get when they're uh, answer is correct. So it says, okay, so you're right. Um, you shouldn't leave documents. I guess the key player in this uh, scavenger hunt because, yeah, you know, you want to make it engaging and interactive, but you also want to make sure that you take advantage of the learning of opportunity, whether they uh, submit a correct answer to reinforce that their answer is correct or whether they submitted an incorrect answer um, and just why their answer was incorrect and where the correct answer is. Um, and that's the scavenger hunt.